Okay, so this is a message for you guys, okay? Good morning. So, I wanted to tell you, sometimes you have to, in order to win the victory over the things you're trying to accomplish, the better job, the better relationship, you have to be willing to leave infertile soil, okay? Infertile ground. Infertile ground. It's people, friends, family members, people around you, okay, who will not, who don't desire to be more than what they are. They're good being a big fish in the pond that they're currently in, but they don't want any more than that, okay? And depending on what that, where that pond is or what, what all is there, it, they're good with that, okay? Being a bully in a small town, okay? They don't want to venture out this, outside the scope of that because they're scared that when they get out there, it's going to be somebody bigger and better than them, okay? Some of y'all are dreamers and you are, you're meant to accomplish so much more in life, okay? But the reason, but you're sitting around friends and family members who honestly, they're the big fish, I remember in my life, so many times I sat and talked about, oh, my family, this, my family, that, my cousin, my uncle, my mom, this, da, da, da. but it wasn't me. It wasn't mine. It wasn't my money. It wasn't my accomplishments. So what? So what if my aunt's a millionaire? So what if my uncle's this or that or a business owner? So what? That's not mine. See, some people thrive on bragging rights about other people's lives, Okay directly trying to attach it to themselves as if it's some kind of accomplishment for you to be the daughter of a successful person, the son of a successful person, the the husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, or, or wife of a successful person. But don't you want your own accomplishments? An accomplishment, having a baby, laying on your back, getting pregnant, having a baby, or impregnating someone with a baby, okay, that's successful or has something on the ball for them is not an accomplishment. Although society has been out here teaching for a long time that it is, okay? So I'm going to tell you this right now. You, Some of y'all are never going to be great where you're at. Why? Because you got a couple of big fish in that small pond, and they don't want you to be one of the big fish. So in order to become a big fish, you're going to have to leave that small pond, okay? Because the more you stay there, all those big fish in that small pond, they all gang up together and they all beat the shit out of you and make sure you don't succeed wherever you are, physically and spiritually, okay? You have to have the guts to go outside the confines of what makes you comfortable to become more, okay? And if you are the person sitting in a group of friends, if you were the person in your family or in your group years ago that was sitting in with the group of friends and you were the one that was constantly going, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do da, 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 da. If that was you and you haven't accomplished any of those things and you stop talking like that, please understand that you are no longer, you are no longer shining as brightly. Why? Because those people sat there and pacified you and said, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Oh yeah. But how many of them helped you do it? How many of them helped you get a better job? How many of them helped you get your income up? How many of them helped you get move ahead and open up that business? None of them did because they love sitting there telling you that you, that you can be this and that, but they'll never help you do it, okay? They'll actually work behind your back to make sure that you don't achieve it, all right? I say this because I've been saying this for a very long time. A lot of y'all want to be great where you are, but you're not meant to be great there. You're meant to be great elsewhere, but you so determined to make it be great where you are that you're going to struggle. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. One or two things is going to happen. All those ideas, all that light you have, all that positivity, you're going to get around people and all that shit's going to be gone. And you're no longer going to be that bright energy in the group. And then you're going to go out one day to your everyday job or everything, your, your routine, the same old damn routine you've been doing you're gonna meet somebody that's talking the way you used to talk you'll be like man you gotta meet you gotta meet this guy herbert or this man Her this guy herman yo he is like he talks about he has these great ideas blah 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 but that was you a couple of years ago that was you a couple of years ago now you're all excited about him the way they were excited about you and you're like yeah man i'm listening to what he's saying i'm gonna do it. but you still haven't done it be careful who you surround yourself with. Be careful who you sit up underneath. Be careful whose home you living in. Be careful who you give all your energy to. Because you might find yourself being drained, sucked of every ambition that you got. And the next thing you know, you're settling for mediocrity when you were supposed to be royalty. 
spiritual royalty, financial royalty, but you're settling for mediocrity. You want to know why? Because some everybody isn't destined for the same thing. And some of the people that you're sitting around and that you're talking to and you're eat, just being in the vicinity drains your energy. I'm going to keep it so real. Just being in the vicinity will drain your energy, okay? Some of y'all, those same people will sit there and watch the light go out of you and then sit there and talk about what you're going to do. Now, remember when we were kids, you used to sit outside and say, oh, that's going to be my car. That's going to be my car. Some of y'all still playing that same damn game. Except you playing it with, oh, that's going to be, I'm going to get me a man like that. I'm going to get me a woman like that. I'm going to get a job like that. I'm going to get this. When do you stop playing the game and actually get up and get in the game? When do you stop playing imaginary and get up and get in? Okay? You can stay where you're at. But please understand there are sharks in your pond that do not want you to be great. Okay? And I'm going to say that because I used to be in a place where I had sharks all around me. And they were like, no, you're not allowed to be a shark. You're not a shark. You're not meant to be a shark. No, bitch. I wasn't meant to be a shark. I was meant to be a whale. Mm -hmm. I was meant to be a whale. Okay. And if I was going to be a shark, I was meant to be a megalodon. See, y'all think them are dead. They're dead, but they're not. They're not. Okay. But what I realized is all those sharks in that pond that didn't want me to be great. I, I realized they weren't as great as I thought they were. They weren't as big as I, I thought they were. And they weren't as bad as I thought they were. Okay? So I realized, yes, in that small pond, those people hold power. But when I jumped out that pond and went into the ocean, I found others that were bigger than them. Mm-hmm. I did. And dreamt bigger and worked harder. Okay? Please be careful of being around people who will pacify you to the point that you will not work to gain the things that you want. And you will sit there and sacrifice for what? For what? Let me tell y'all something about children. When children are, and I say this because a lot of people are letting their lives go, oh, what well, about my kids, my kid? Let me share this with you. When your child is five years old, six years old, seven years old, and you can't do certain things, take them around the world to see different cultures and everything and experience different things, they won't remember that. They won't remember that. But when they turn 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, their memory becomes solidified. And they will remember that you couldn't buy them that car. They will remember you couldn't take them on that cruise. You will. Re they will remember that... They couldn't have the really nice clothes and the shoes and certain things like that. They will remember certain shit. Okay? So, if you're going to sacrifice, you sacrifice while your kids are young. And you go get it done. So that later on in the life, you could come back and give them a certain level of life. But if you don't, please know when the day comes, that little Ernie's daddy or little Maria's daddy was working their mama and daddy. Was working their ass off. Okay. And now they 16 years old. They got a nice car. They got a savings account. They got a college fund. They got all this stuff. Ask Maria or ask little Eddie or whatever. If they remember what, what their parents were doing at five years old. Ask them if they remember what their parents were doing at seven, eight years, eight years old, nine years old. They ain't going to remember. Okay. They're not going to remember. All right. But they will remember when you tell them no. Because you have now not achieved the things that you are meant to achieve. See, we get so, oh, my child, my child, my child, my child. Okay? But your child is going to grow up to be an adult. And your child is going to do one of two things. They're either going to idolize you because they saw the sacrifices that you made to be great. And they're going to follow in your footsteps. Or they're going to pity you because they saw a wasted potential in their parents that never got to where they were supposed to be. And I say this as a parent, okay? Some of y'all are being held back by the sharks in y'all pond. I left my pond. I left my pond and I left them sharks. I got out into that ocean. I found a couple of megalodons, a couple of net whales. Yeah, and when them sharks thought they were gonna come for me and keep me small, yeah, I got a couple of those megalodons and those whales to back me up. And it ain't going down the way it normally does. All right? Small places yield small people. 
The reason why those people become so big and bully others in those places is because they wouldn't dare step outside that pond. But sometimes you got to step outside that pond and bring that damn whale and megalodon back to the pond to deal with those bullies. I'm just saying, okay? So either you're going to have faith enough to jump, to, to leap out into something more, or you're going to settle for less. What's it going to be? Because I don't know about y'all, but I know that I was meant to be great, not for money, not for publicity, but because how can I teach others how to live up to their full potential if I don't live up to mine? How are you going to coach me? How can I coach somebody and I don't even have the shit that I'm coaching them on? Self-esteem, strength, endurance, perseverance. If I don't have those things, how am I supposed to coach you on those things? See, that's where you start realizing who the, feel, the real and the fake are. Okay? Because the real ones will never leave that pond. And will bully every other fish in that small pond in that small area. Okay? The fake ones will never leave that pond. And will bully people in that area, in that friend group, in that family, and everything else. But those of us that are truly real... We're going to maintain that title no matter where we go. Okay? And we're going to grow bigger than that pond. We're going to be in the sea, the ocean. All right? I say that because some of y'all, you need to leave that infertile ground. But you're staying there. Why? And then some people are saying, well, Sapphire, I need money. Have you ever looked for a job before you had the money to move? Because I know somebody who did it. She found the job before she had the money to move. Okay. And she went and she moved. She started working and that day she was traveling back and forth. Okay. God opened up that door before it, did, it wasn't the way she planned it. She had to leap first. She was waiting to get the money to leap, but she had to leap first. Okay. So sometimes you got to leap first and have faith in God. All right. That's what I do. And I land every time. Smooth as hell. You know the beautiful thing about it is? God gives me a whole bunch of people around me that leap too. So when I'm talking my crazy dreams, they're talking their crazy dreams. When I'm working at my crazy dreams, they're working at their crazy dreams. And when I'm helping them, they're helping me. Be careful who you align yourself with. Just saying. All right? I want you to have more in this life. You're meant to. All right. I love you guys. I got to get in here. I got class. Yeah, I got class. And I got to do my edges. Bye.